So now let's talk about the extraction of some metals. Well, we talked about the reactivity of metals and we said that not all metals are of the same reactivity. So extraction of highly reactive metals is very hard and it's done through a process called the electrolysis of molten purified ore. And this process is very difficult to handle and at the same time is very expensive. But now we're going to talk about fairly reactive metals and how are they are extracted. Well, the method of extraction is the reduction wait, let me change the font to make it more clear now the method used is called the reduction of metal oxide with a non-metal so Let's take iron as an example and you guys have to know this for the exam. The examiner will ask you about this process so pay attention very carefully. Now the process of extraction of iron is usually done in a blast furnace so that's a blast furnace. And also you have to note that Iron is extracted from, it's, the ore is called hematite and it's iron 3 oxide. And also it can be extracted from magnetite which is iron 4 oxide. So this is iron 4 oxide. Now, these two ores contain 60% iron. So let's see what happens in the blast furnace. Well, in the blast furnace, coke is added plus limestone, which is calcium carbonate, in addition to the iron ore. Okay, now the blast furnace has a temperature of 400 degrees Celsius and this is provided through pumping hot air. So here there is hot air pumped through. Okay. Now the air goes in the blast furnace like this and heats up the process. Now let's take a look at some of the reactions that occur. And you guys have to know these reactions off by heart. Well, the first reaction that occurs is the reaction of coke, which is carbon solid, reacting with the hot air coming into the blast furnace. And this would yield carbon dioxide gas. Now, the second thing that's going to happen is that the calcium carbonate, which is the limestone, it will thermally decompose into calcium oxide solid plus carbon dioxide gas. Now, pay attention. Well, the next thing that's going to happen is that the carbon dioxide generated from this reaction will react, will go up in the furnace and react with more coke, giving carbon monoxide gas. Then the carbon monoxide right here starts to go up in the furnace and it acts as a reducing agent, reducing the iron ore. So this is the reaction that occurs now. Carbon monoxide will react, this is the three, with the iron ore giving iron in molten form 
plus carbon dioxide gas. Now, the last reaction we have to note is that throughout this process, there are some impurities generated, okay? Those impurities react with the calcium oxide produced here, okay? So in the impurities is silicon dioxide in this solid form and that would give a compound that we call slag. So this is slag. And in the furnace, the slag will be right here, the purple color. And the, and the gray color is the molten iron. So this is the molten, molten iron. And that one is the slag. Well, let's go over this again. I know it's a bit messy, but let's go over it again. Well, we said that iron is extracted from its oxide ores, like magnetite and hematite. In this case, we use a blast furnace at 400 degrees Celsius, and we add coke, limestone, and the iron ore. What happens is the first reaction that occurs, the coke reacts with oxygen to give carbon dioxide. Then, the limestone thermally decomposes to give calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. This carbon dioxide gas further goes up in the furnace and reacts with more coke, giving carbon monoxide. And the carbon monoxide is very essential since this gas is the one responsible for reducing the iron ore to become molten iron and giving out carbon dioxide. Now, we said that throughout there are some impurities and those impurities such as silicon dioxide reacts with calcium oxide to give something called slag. Now, Let's see. Well, we said that are the two, there are products such as the hot, there is here, the slag and the molten iron. Well, the slag is often used in making roads, so it doesn't go to waste. It's actually used for something. And we get our molten iron, it's collected right here. So there will be like buckets or I don't know what they, what they use, but there's something here used to collect the slag and the molten iron. One thing I forgot to mention is that here there are some waste, waste gases. And those waste gases are used to further heat up the furnace. So these waste gases just go right here to heat up the whole process again. So nothing goes to waste. It's an economic procedure. So that's that for the extraction of iron. In the next video, we're going to talk about the extraction of zinc. So stay tuned and good luck.